The Mobile Rocket Base German, Mobile Raketen Basis, abbreviated MORABA, is a department of the DLR Space Operations and Astronaut Training in Oberpfaffenhofen near Munich. Since the 1960s, the MORABA has performed scientific high-altitude research missions with unmanned rockets and balloons, and has developed the required mechanical and electrical systems. Their operational areas include upper atmosphere research, microgravity research, astronomy, geophysics, materials science, as well as hypersonic research. Eurolaunch, a cooperation between MORABA and SSCS range, offers international launch services for stratospheric balloons and sounding rockets. Since 1971, MORABA also cooperates with the Brazilian Instituto de Aeronáutica e Espaco (IAE) of the Departamento de Ciência e Tecnologia Aeroespacial (DCTA). Topic: <laughs> Divisions of MORABA. Topic. Mobile infrastructure The mobile ground stations and antennas for telemetry reception of data and telecommand, transmission of control commands, as well as range instrumentation radar stations for the exact trajectory measurement, are part of the mobile infrastructure. This includes also ground support systems for communication, power supplies, etc. The main tasks include tracking the trajectory of sounding rockets or research balloons, RF data reception, data processing, distribution and archiving. Transport, setup and maintenance of the mobile stations, as well as mission preparation, are also part of the activities. Topic. Electrical flight systems The Electrical Flight Systems Group develops, builds, and qualifies the necessary electrical and electronic systems aboard the rockets and balloons. Among others, this includes onboard computer systems, control and measurement equipment, data management and telemetry components, and RF transmission systems. Attitude, rate, and acceleration sensors are calibrated and flown in these systems. Cold gas rate and attitude control systems are developed and qualified by this group. The construction of electrical ground support equipment is also in the scope of tasks. Topic. Mechanical flight systems The Mechanical Flight Systems Group performs structural calculations, aerodynamic and thermal analyses. Also, mechanical configuration and design of the payload and the entire vehicle are planned and accomplished, as well as the integration of scientific experiments and the spin balancing of the final payload. Furthermore, this group develops and maintains separation and payload recovery systems. Topic. Launch services The tasks of the Launch Services Group include procurement, inspection, modification and storage of rocket motors and pyrotechnics, setup of the mobile launch pads, assembling the rocket stages and ignition systems, integrating the payload and rocket motors, and loading the rocket onto the launcher. 
Furthermore, the group is responsible for support of flight safety, trajectory calculations, aerodynamic calculations, and selection of the rocket configuration. Topic. Mechanical and electronic flight systems developed by MORABA Rocket fins and substructures Separation systems of the rocket stages Dispin systems to eliminate rocket spin before the experiment phase Parachute recovery systems TV multi-channel transmission systems Onboard systems for rate, attitude, spin rate, and precession control Ignition units for safe ignition of rocket motors and payload pyrotechnics Mobile electrical and mechanical ground systems, such as ground stations and launch pads Telemetry and telecommand systems Integrated radio frequency systems for rockets and balloons Topic. History The mobile rocket base emerged from the Working Group for Space Exploration a common foundation of the Max Planck Institute for Extraterrestrial Physics MPE, and the former German Laboratory for Aviation DVL. This working group was founded in 1965 and had its first headquarters in Munich. Since April 1969 the mobile rocket base is located in Oberpfaffenhofen, near Munich, in the department Space Operations and Astronaut Training of the German Aerospace Center DLR. The first mobile campaign to study the solar eclipse in May 1966 on the Greek island of Euboea, on behalf of the European Space Research Organization ESRO, demonstrated the feasibility to move and set up extensive technical and scientific equipment in a short time in a remote location. Topic. The beginning, atmospheric research In cooperation with the MPE, a campaign for the study of the magnetic field of the Earth was carried out in the spring of 1967, at Esrange, Sweden. With five Nike Apache rockets, artificial barium clouds Aurora Borealis were created in about 100 km altitude, in order to visualize the magnetic field lines. In addition to the rocket launch sites in Scandinavia, Kiruna and Andines, also Sardinia, Wallops Island and Matagorda Island, USA, White Sands, USA, Greenland, Trivandrum, India, Woomera, Australia, Welva, Spain, Natal, Brazil, and Adelaide Island, Antarctica, were used for the launch of payloads with various scientific purposes. In the following years, sounding rockets were used mainly in the fields of upper atmosphere and research into the causes of global warming. Topic. New fields of application, microgravity research With the start of the Heat Pipe 1 payload, manufactured by Dornier, Friedrichshafen, a new field of application for sounding rockets emerged. 
The launch took place on January 22, 1976 at S-Range, with the aim to investigate the function of heat pipes and latent heat storage in a microgravity environment for their application in future satellite projects. Initially intended as a supplementary program for the German Spacelab missions, the first launch of a Texas payload took place on December 13, 1977 with a two-stage Skylark rocket at S-Range. In the following years, up to four Texas missions six minutes of microgravity were flown per year, with numerous experiments. In order to meet the ever-increasing number of experiments with different requirements and objectives, the Swedish Maser program, the Maxis program, 13 minutes microgravity, and the Minitexis program, 3 minutes microgravity, were initiated, under the aegis of the European Space Agency, ESA. Topic. Further tasks, launch of high-altitude research balloons Already in May 1975, the mobile rocket base was involved in research balloons with the flight of the 2.5-ton spectrostratoscope instrument in Palestine, Texas, for the reception of the PCM data from the payload. Together with the Max Planck Institute for Aeronomy in Lindau, Haars, Germany, international balloon flights were carried out in air sur le dor, France, Mendoza, Argentina, and Hyderabad, India, to explore the chemical composition and pollution of the atmosphere in different altitudes and latitudes. Topic. Technology transfer, from rockets to satellites In the early years of German-sounding rocket research, the payloads were designed and built by engineers and technicians from the companies Dornier, MBB, Kaiser Threed, and Erno. Parallel to the withdrawal of Dornier and MBB from payload construction for sounding rockets, MORABA developed and tested, in addition to the already existing spin rate and attitude control modules and parachute recovery systems, mechanical and electrical flight systems which were difficult or impossible to obtain on the market. The first and successful application of a rocket qualified data acquisition and transmission, reception system on a satellite was in the re-entry experiment, Express. For this project, in late 1994 a complete transmitting and receiving station with all necessary functions was set up by MORABA in the South Australian desert and was operated over the turn of the year. After the launch with a Japanese satellite launcher and a seven-day orbital flight, the landing of the Express capsule was planned to occur in the vicinity of the town of Cooper Petty, Australia. However, due to a malfunction of the rocket, the capsule entered an elliptical orbit with very low perigee and landed in Africa after only a few revolutions. Further applications of developments of MORABA in space flight missions included experiments aboard the Russian space station Mir and the DLR satellite BIRD. Topic. Latest trend, hypersonic research, the flying wind tunnel. Similar to the novel use of the rocket platform for microgravity research, the use of sounding rockets as a flying hypersonic wind tunnel has increased steadily. 
With the help of sounding rockets, large flight models are brought to speeds of above Mach 12 and re-entry periods of up to one minute can be achieved. For the DLR Sharp Edge Flight Experiment MORABA designed and built the payload subsystems and the rocket system. With its launch in October 2005 from Andines, Norway, the project has been successfully completed. Further experiments of this kind were the also successfully completed follow-up project SHEFEX-2 launched in June 2012, as well as the Scramjet Engine Research Programs HiFire and Scramspace. Topic. Missions conducted or supported by MORABA Topic. Current projects of MORABA Texas, German Technologische Experimente unter Schwerelosigit, Technology Experiments in Microgravity Environment Rexus, BEXUS, Sounding Rocket and Balloon Experiments for University Students Stern, Students' Experimental Rockets, German, Studentische Experimental Rocketen, Support Program for Students to Develop Innovative Rocket Engines. MAPHEUS, Material Physics Experiments in Microgravity, German, Material Physikalische Experimente unter Schwerelosigit. Wadis, German, Wellenausbreitung und Dissipation in der Mittleren Atmosphäre, research project of the Leibniz Institute of Atmospheric Physics in Kulungsborn, Germany, and the Institute of Space Systems IRS of the University of Stuttgart, Germany. SHEFEX Sharp Edge Flight Experiment Program of the German Aerospace Center DLR Maser Sounding Rocket Program of the Swedish Space Corporation SSC for microgravity research Maxis Joint Venture between Astrium and the Swedish Space Corporation SSC for materials science research in microgravity environment HiFire Australian program for the development of a supersonic combustion ramjet scramjet MAIUS Study of a Bose-Einstein condensate in microgravity environment Rotex Rocket Technology Experiment Students Flight Experiments of the Institute of Aerodynamics at the RWTH Aachen University Corsair Formerly CSSR Comet Surface Sample Return Cooperation with NASA the goal is to take a sample from the surface of a comet nucleus and transport it to Earth Topic. Selected missions Topic. List of rocket and balloon missions Topic. Further reading Peter Turner, Einmal ins All und Zurück. DLR, Oberfaffenhofen 2007, ISBN 978-3-00-022037-1. Burkhardt Frank, Forschungsraketen, Technologische Experimente unter Schwerelosigit Durchgeführt MIT Texas, Minitexas und Maxis. Stedinger Verlag, Lemwerder 2007.
Wilfred Lay, Klaus Wittmann, Willy Hallmann, Handbuch der Raumfahrttechnik. Karl Hanser Verlag, München 2011, ISBN 978-3-446-42406-7. Kurt Tretner, Deutschland's Rocketen starten in Sweden. In, Hobby, Das Magazin der Technik. NR, 15, 1967, S88 92. Gunther Seibert, The History of Sounding Rockets and Their Contribution to European Space Research. ESA Publications Division, November 2006, ISBN 92-9092-550-7. Topic. See also. Sounding rocket. List of sounding rockets. List of orbital launch systems List of rockets launched from S-Range External links Encyclopedia Astronautica Designation Systems. Net